The National Western Stock Show is a hub for livestock enthusiasts across the country. And although the ways of marketing cattle have changed over the years, the yards here in downtown Denver remain an active place for buying and selling top quality genetics. We learn more in this report from historian Dan Green. We're out here in the yards at the 2015 National Western Stock Show in Denver, Colorado, taking a look at the yard bulls, gathering around uh, to see the Angus bulls as they're being displayed in what could be called the uh, bull supermarket in the stockyards in Denver, Colorado. It's not quite like it once was, uh, as production sales on local ranches have heavily overtaken. I can remember the days when there'd be several thousand bulls populating the pens of the stockyards in Denver. The commercial cattlemen came from across the country to buy the bulls they need for the spring breeding season, and they would spend a couple of days going through pen by pen, almost bull by bull, pick out the ones they needed and wanted. And of course, in those days, it was largely a Hereford Enterprise. And increasingly, uh, as the uh, uh, 50s and 60s and 70s unfolded, from the traditional Hereford base of all those bulls, the Angus breed moved in and took over. And the bulls became blacker and blacker and blacker. And because one of the great progenitors of that was a guy named Austin Moody of Longmont, Colorado, flew his own plane, was a sale manager, a master marketer and salesman of Angus cattle. And he brought them from their traditional base in the east and Midwest to the west in Denver and beyond and herd after herd after herd started using Angus bulls, buying Angus cows, moving them out here to where the Angus breed is the dominant breed it is today on the ranches across the western United States and indeed across America. What happened to the bull harper market in the yards in Denver? Well, largely publication and breed industry representatives and auctioneers and sale managers all knew they really make their money out of production sales and certainly the publication business you can sell a lot more advertising to a production sale than you ever can to a private treaty sale happening in the stockyards in denver or someplace else so as increasingly uh, production sales be on the ranch became more and more common more and more breeders uh, showing up to uh, buy their bulls out in the country and not coming to Denver to get them. And of course then they weren't selling as many bulls in Denver so they didn't bring as many bulls to Denver. And so now it's much more of a display uh, uh, situation in the Denver stockyards than a actual sale of bulls situation, although bulls are still sold here. But that's the story of really how commercial cattlemen get their bulls and uh, staff their spring uh, breeding season. It's quite humbling and exciting to walk through the same pastures and fields that my great-grandfather did back in 1909. This was his home. This is where he started his family. And it's our hope that we can continue this for future generations. I'm Bob McLaren, and we look forward to seeing you on Saturday, February 28th at 44 Farms. Calves require adequate, high-quality colostrum immediately following birth to receive the immune and nutritional support needed to fight diseases and thrive. Next Generation Colostrix Colostrum Replacer and Supplement are USDA licensed to aid in the treatment of failure of passive transfer and contain natural maternal bovine colostrum antibodies against E. coli K99. Ask your animal health supplier for Colostrix or visit agrilabs.com for details. Colostrix makes all systems go.